I'm Louise Pavlin, 12830 Stall Drive, 37934. I have attended a few Board of Education meetings in the recent past to essentially lament what I see happening in my children's schools. You all don't really know me, so I thought I would give you a little background. I am a mom of three boys. My boys don't have learning difficulties. They are relatively bright, but without exception, I brought three highly unmotivated children into the world. When I realized that their failure was not an option for me, I realized that I would need to get involved. I would have to get to know their teachers, understand what was happening in their classrooms, hold them to account for missing work or poor test grades due to lack of preparation, and help the teachers with photocopying and, and getting involved. In doing so, I have gotten to know the teachers. I've gotten to understand the curriculum and pacing guides and standards, and I have witnessed the changes. I have had conversations with teachers who have had enough not with teaching, but with the education reform that includes common core data collection, high stakes, standardized testing, and how the test results are used. Let's be clear, common core guidelines were never field tested before they were implemented. There was no one in Washington, D.C. correcting the seriously, serious flaws in this set of guidelines. Common core data collection and high stakes tests came to us through Race to the Top, commonly called education reform an initiative that did not require any debate by our state representatives. It came to us via the signature of Governor Haslam and the Tennessee <coughs> Education Commissioner. The Broad Academy, of which Dr. McIntyre is a graduate, believes in this education reform, reform agenda. The realities of implementing education reform have hit the Knox County school system hard, and this administration has not handled this difficult reality with the sensitivity needed. As a parent, I feel that rather being in fully informed, I have been given the spin on so many important issues. I personally believe that the damage done is, if not irreparable, dar darn near close. I am a resident of Knox County. My husband and I own a small business in Knox County, and I have two children currently enrolled in the Knox County schools. I am a stakeholder in the public education of our children. A vote to extend Dr. McIntyre's contract at this time is premature. The very nature of this board could very well change in a few short months, and tying their hands would be irresponsible. If the next board would like to make a change, you would be requiring the use of taxpayer dollars to make that change, taxpayer money that would otherwise be used in the classroom for our kids. In my mind, that taxpayer money would be used in one of two ways, to pay for lawyers or to buy out Dr. McIntyre's contract. Either way, our children will be the ones who lose in this deal. Alternatively, if the board chooses to keep Dr. McIntyre, there is no harm due to the fact that his current contract does not expire until the end of December of 2017, more than two years from today. I beg of you to do right by the taxpayers of Knox County and delay this vote. 